Freeze! Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is on everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in, some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like, I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Relax, Holmes. 
I'm in. Yo, know, Marcus is getting all crazy on people tonight, right? What the fuck? There's something going down tonight. He knows something we don't. I know you best keep your voice down, Holmes. Marcus don't play that shit. <laughs> what shit? I'm just asking a question. That's the shit he don't play. Look, both of you just shut up and play your fucking card. He's inside, watching the steps. I guess Marcus kind of scared of him, you know? Shit, I guess Junior's smarter than he looks. So, and like that punk who dropped your brother, you could hit his whole crew with bullets spinning through jack shit. I'd tear their asses up if I was a vampire. Yeah, yeah, it's not so bad. You'd be stupid not to run with this crew. They said they run the whole city. You understand that? Working with the crew that runs the whole city, you could do anything you want, kill anyone who gets in your way, fly all over the place. But what about blood? Do we really gotta drink blood? That's how they do it up in the movies. 
That's kind of nasty. What if I want a sandwich or something? How should I know? Probably tastes good to vampires. It's still nasty. What about sex? Don't tell me I gotta give up hitting it, because my cousin's got her friend staying at my house and she... Man, how do you expect me to know? It's not like it falls off, right? What? You never use it anyway. That's messed up. Just keep your eyes open. We screw this shit up, it's lying, sex, and you're asking bye. Because the black guys, they said they'd kill us and our family's gonna blow it. I never agreed to. Look, just shut up and shoot me if I ain't supposed to be here.
Your handiwork, I presume? Hopefully no Sabbat saw you escape. They can be somewhat antagonistic. I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred, hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air, like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful, you're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> <laughs> something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. What do you need? I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. I knew you would. I had him watching you-know-who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. No. You helped me remove a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Pretty good actor, that Knox, huh? Don't take it hard, Cupcake. I won't be the last elder to milk you for a favor. Sure. Chester. You call him LaCroix, a Chester? Uh, you uh, better watch that fletchling. Anyway, what am I gonna say, uh... He's the boss now. Sure. They're a bunch of malcontents. They get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. <laughs> like, that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all about. Jealousy and contempt. Sure. 
Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangrel can walk upright. They just choose not to. Sure. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but, uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Janice's daughter? What the... Oh, Janice. The Two-Faced God? You mean Therese Vorman. Oh man, you Malkavians are really messed up. Anyway, that was just silly vampire politicking fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. Like what? Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Hmm. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. I'm loyal to the clan. Loyal to my primogen, and therefore... Loyal to the Camarilla. The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla, so they take care of us. They value our services, or, uh, don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. Sure. Mm. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much, but I've seen them work people like puppeteers, and that's admirable. Now, if only they'd get off their slimy asses and put their talent to some use besides feeding their egos. Sure. Mm. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy, and I think they like it that way. But to be honest, I don't hear much about the Tremere. There's a few in L.A., but all in all, there's not that many of them. They get a bad rap, if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Yeah. The Anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Sure. Jester, you call him a... Yeah. The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order 
is the Kindred's friend. <laughs> Pretty close to the mark. Caitiff are just kind of riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society, don't know their clan, mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. You said it. Theory goes that the farther down the bloodline you are from Cain, the weaker the blood is. So if you're, say, fifth generation, the blood is strong. If you're fifteenth generation, you barely qualify as a vampire. A thin blood. Long Shadow. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You Malkavians and your damned insight. Most fledglings don't know anything about Gehenna. You don't know the half of it, kid. Gehenna, the day we all die. When our sleeping forefathers rise and bring about the end of the world. Many believe we're living in the final nights. Yep, that's him. Cain, the biblical brother killer. Father of all vampires. You don't know the half of it, kid. Hunters. Humans who hunt vampires. Most are half-cocked yokels, who also say they've been abducted by UFOs. The real hunters are trained by secret societies, holy orders of the Church that have existed since the Middle Ages. Fear. Them. You said it. Like what? Sure, Cuck. You ask me, the Sabbat makes no sense. They couldn't care less about the masquerade, and they seem to care even less about themselves. It's like, hey, let's all spread hell on Earth so we can feel big and bad. Oops, I'm dead. Now how did that happen? Here again? What's the matter? Can't bring yourself to tear into the neck of some quote-unquote innocent? All that blood out there, and you have to buy the prepackaged stuff. That's okay. I understand. I forgive you. All that power, and you don't even use it. Seems wasteful, shameful. All these sheep, all these happy-go-lucky nine-to-five tools walking around oblivious. If one or two or three or four of them go missing, the flock grazes on. I know you're kind. I know you could do it. It would be easy. But I'm not like the others. I respect you. I admire you. If I had that power, I'd soak in the blood of the weak, too. It's pure survival. The powerful fuel dynasties with the meek's blood. To survive. My point exactly. Those that kill survive. 
The soldier that kills the other soldier first lives. The nation that kills the most enemies wins the war. It's the natural order of life. You are a predator. I respect that. I envy you. Need a fix? Two. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, huh, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's blast its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla, fuck. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with a sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Same thing that happens to a lot of anarchs, Malk. But you already know that somehow, don't you? Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. <laughs> 